Norm came to the shop looking for one thing. He wanted a hot rod. A 1932 Ford five-window coupe would easily fit that demand. This project started, like all others, at Steadfast with the frame jig. I tell all my customers, you can't build a house without a foundation, and at Steadfast, you can't build a hot rod without a foundation. All of our chassis are built around an aggressive stance that handles as well as it looks. We source parts from Pete and Jake's, Roadster Supply, JW Rod Garage, Johnson's Hot Rod Parts, Winter's Performance Products, and a few others. And then we try our best to let it all flow from the front spreader bar to the rear. Our cross members, motor mounts, and all brackets are made specific to the chassis and the needs of the car. I want the bottom of the car to look as good as the top. Interior. Truth be told, we dropped the car off with Wayne and Pam at M&M Hot Rod Interiors in Alabama and said make it cool. The result was more than cool. Wayne's patterns and stitching mixed with our custom panels made for a clean, simple interior that had Hot Rod written all over it. As for the body, I always feel that Ford did such a good job, we can only do a few things before we start to take away from. The top was wedge chopped, only 3 eighths of an inch, and the hood was pancaked around 5 eighths of an inch in the front. Other than that, the profile is pretty much the way Ford intended it to be. Where the build gets complicated is areas like the roof insert. We laid in a Walden insert to make it mimic the stock roof insert. It's bolted in with a custom aluminum trim piece. Tail lights are Johnson, tucked in super tight with custom made fillers. Gas tank tucked in, three window dash, handmade trans tunnel, model A rear cross member cover are just a few of the details. All the details were covered in PPG black paint. Nothing goes better with dial 7 on those wheels than black paint. It was done by my dad, Ellis Richards, and good friend and helper, Robert Mosey.
would not have near the attitude without the right set of wheels and tires. Wheels and tires are everything. We called on Johnson's Hot Rod Shop for a set of his new Heritage Series wheels and then wrapped them in Firestone Dirt Track tires from Coger Tire. Motor and Trans. We went with a small block Chevy and a 700 R4. I will argue to my death that the small block Chevy, hands down, is the most hot rod motor of all time. As for the Trans, Norm's wife Connie wanted an automatic so she could drive it. I asked my good friend Aaron to build the motor. We wanted a small block that was a bit cooler than your average crate motor. Aaron decided that a Timeless Dress 383 would get the job done in style. We called on Larry Fulton at Hot Rod Carbs to do the 3-2 setup. As for the trans, Tom Fisher, one of my dad's longtime friends and local legend was called upon. Tom's auto trans builds will hold their own no matter what you throw at them. just like to take this last second to thank Norm and Connie for allowing us to build such a cool car. I'd also like to take this second to um, thank God for blessing us with cool customers and allowing us to um, do something that we love. <laughs>